Hi there! Here are 14 amazing facts National Geographic has shared with us. You know, humans may know a lot about the world, but there are still many questions that remain unanswered. What do the tops of the pyramids in Egypt look like? Can the Sahara Desert turn into a lush green forest? Wow, that would be cool! National Geographic has provided answers to your most burning questions. You can't even imagine some of the things you don't know about the world. After watching this video, you'll be able to impress all your friends with these unbelievable facts. Now, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the Bright Side of life. Number 1. What sits atop the ancient Egyptian pyramids? The ancient pyramids in Egypt are tall. Some of the tallest ones stand at a whopping 480 feet. So it's pretty hard to get a good look at the top of these things. Want to take a guess as to what's up there? No, not a star. They aren't Christmas trees. Pyramids are tombs that hold ancient pharaohs. Scientists discovered the Benben stone, which once sat atop the pyramid of Amenemhat III around 1840 BCE in the Temple of Phoenix. In Egypt, the phoenix was thought to be able to create and resurrect, so it's no surprise that this symbol appeared on the top of this pyramid in a prayer that asked for the pharaoh to see life again. Wonder if that prayer worked. Number 2. That's a canary of a different color. Have you ever eaten something spicy and had your cheeks turn red? Well, canaries can change colors after eating peppers. Thanks to a special pigment in canary wings, they can change shades depending on what they eat. Yellow canaries, for example, can eat red peppers and turn orange or red. You may have also noticed that canaries' feathers show different tinges of color after sitting in the sun. Gee, I wonder what would happen if you fed them blueberries. Number 3. The Vatican prohibited copies of a special song. If the Vatican had a theme song, what would it be? Well, there's the Vatican Rag by Tom Lehrer, but that's probably not what they had in mind. It is an intriguing question. While the Vatican doesn't have a theme song, it did have a special piece that was performed once a year, which was kept secret for nearly 150 years. No one was even allowed to write it down. But one day, a young Mozart heard the song, at age 14, and wrote the music down completely by ear. When the Vatican learned what Mozart did, instead of being angry, they were shocked at how precise his ear was. The music was recorded almost perfectly. Mozart was given an award called the Order of the Golden Spur by the Pope. Ah, Mozart, what a rebel you were! So, where do we hear the song? Number 4. Crisscross Patterns in the Sea no, it's not a massive game of checkers. These square shapes that appear in the ocean are known as cross sea. It happens when two wave systems occur in the ocean at oblique or slanting angles. But this pattern is only pretty from afar. If you were to get stuck in this crossing of waves, you'd be trapped. They can even cause boats to flip upside down. Number 5. Someone broke the beard off an ancient Egyptian mask artifact in a museum. <laughs> you think you're having a bad day at work? Back in 2014, an employee at the Egyptian museum knocked off the beard of Tutankhamun's burial mask. Um, did I do that? They tried to glue it back on, which did more harm than good to the artifact. The ancient Egyptian mask was discovered back in 1922 and is considered to be one of the 10 symbols of our human civilization. While this little snafu occurred in 2014, it wasn't until 2016 that historians discovered the poor glue job. And now, they're stuck with it. Number 6. Orchids are devil's plants. Are these gorgeous flowers cursed with evil? Nah, they just look like it. This flower from the forests of Colombia got the name of Devil's Orchid thanks to its creepy appearance with a face of horns and red eyes in its middle. If you want to put one of these bad boys in your next flower arrangement, you'll be waiting for a long time. You can't buy the flower in regular shops, because not only are they grown in special conditions, but they're also considered endangered. Number 7. A Colorless Rainbow 
Now, what do you think when you imagine a rainbow? Lots of beautiful colors, right? Well, you may be disappointed to see this fog bow, which looks like an all-white rainbow. The fog bow is a rare phenomenon that makes an appearance on foggy days, hence the name. You can see the fog bow only if there are small drops of water, about two hundredths of an inch, and you stand facing the fog with your back toward the sun. You can even spot one of these by moonlight. It's referred to as a moon bow. Who would have thought? Number 8. Is GPS really free? You may not pay to use GPS on your phone when you're looking for the nearest Starbucks, but the US government spends $750 million a year to maintain the 24 satellites it uses. That's an impressive $2 million a day. While the government says they don't profit from GPS, the system is imperative when it comes to avoiding catastrophes like major storms. Number 9. You can move from city to city in Russia without changing homes. Think you know the name of the city you live in? Well, people living in Russia may not be able to say as much. That's because Russian cities change their names so often that residents can live in three different cities without ever having moved. A person may live in Petersburg one year and Petrograd the next without packing a box. Now, that's moving made easy. Number 10. Penguin poop is necessary for survival. Ah, the joys of penguin poop, said no one ever. But believe it or not, something as gross as penguin poop is crucial to maintaining Antarctica's ecosystem. The elements in this bird's dung help plants to grow on frozen soil. It even helps animals to survive. And over the last 5,000 years, over 17 million pounds of the stuff has kept Antarctica thriving. Wow, that's some powerful poop! Number 11. Avocados are toxic to everyone but humans. Whether you put them in dips, on toast, or in sandwiches, people just can't get enough avocados. However, this delicious fruit is incredibly toxic to, well, everyone else. Dogs and other animals like horses and cows can get very sick and even die from ingesting parts of avocados. This is because avocado leaves contain persin, which can lead to necrosis in the heart muscles and mammary glands of different animals. Well, I guess that means more guacamole for us! 12. Iceland cooks bread with the help of volcanoes While most of us use ovens to cook delicious bread, Iceland uses what's readily available to them – volcano heat. One of the country's oldest bread recipes for volcano bread requires a pot of dough to be placed on the ground near a geyser for a full 24 hours. Since this soil reaches 220 degrees Fahrenheit, the bread bakes. Just be sure to add plenty of butter to get rid of that sulfuric taste. And also, don't get yourself boiled trying this. 13. Ice balls aren't a myth While incredibly rare, natural ice balls actually exist. They look like perfect balls that only a human could manufacture. But these balls are formed by the wind. Somehow, strong winds are able to pick up the snow, roll it into round balls, and polish it. They can reach up to 20 inches in diameter. These ice balls were last seen on the shore of the Yamal Peninsula in western Siberia back in 2016. Just another way nature likes to turn heads with its craftiness. 14. The Sahara isn't always a hot desert. When you think of the Sahara, you imagine high temperatures and dry sands, right? Well, it may be hard to fathom, but according to Robert Cordy, a researcher at Texas A&M University, the Sahara was tropical some 6,000 years ago. How is that possible, you ask? Well, according to Cordy, something called the Hadley Circulation – tropical atmospheric circulation that rises around the equator – is related to subtropical winds, rain belts, and more. This can create desert-like weather when it sits over the subtropics. This is apparently what causes the Sahara to turn from a lush green environment to a desert. And every 23,000 years, the Sahara is expected to switch back and forth from one environment to the other. Boy, I can't wait! Hey, are you feeling a little bit smarter? What other questions about the world do you have that remain unanswered? 
Leave your response in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Stay on the bright side.